E sad, e, postoje, postoje ovaj, e, normalni muslimani koji se ne bave petparačkom propagandom. A oni koji se bave petparačkom propagandom, poput onog nekog, kako se zove, Zajka, Dajka, ne znam ja kako se zove, pa su našli Muhameda u pjesmi nad pjesmama, jel? jer tamo piše ovaj, Kuloma Hamadim, sav je on lijep. Pjesma nad pjesmama je svatovac. Možemo i na tu temu da je laboriramo ako hoćete, kako je uopšte jedan svatovac ušao u sveti tekst. U stvari moram. Opširan sam, Mikloše, tvoj, tvoj problem ti izme zove, ti izme pitao. Znači ovako. Ribija Kiva, jedan od osnivača rabinskog judaizma, kaže ovaj, kola ketuvim kodeš, šira širim kodeš, a kodešim. Svi su spisi svetinja, a pjesma nad pjesmama je svetnja nad svetnjom. Se spostavlja pitanje, zašto, zašto je sad? A, 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 tvoje su dojke takve i takve, a tvoji su zubi takvi i takvi, a tvoj je vrat takav i takav. Zašto bi to bilo svetnja nad svetnjom? Vrlo jednostavno. Zato što ovaj, ta pjesma je ta, to djelo je cjelokupno metafora. A Ribija Kiva je bio jedan od naših najvećih ovaj, alegorijskih tumača. I sad ti dođeš nekom jevrijskom ovaj, fundamentalisti i kažeš mu, znaš Bog, nije tijelo, on kaže mu, ne moj. Pa što onda piše oči, gospoda Boga tvojega su na toj zemlji od početka godine. Ti mu kaže, što je metafora? Kaže on, meta šta? U, meta ti je fora. Ti kaže, da, ali to, kako ne skotaš, on kaže, pa onda je metafora ne ubi. Onda je metafora e, e, drži subotu. E sad, samo jedino isključivo, ako imamo tekst koji je cijeli metafora i koji je nemoguće razumjeti na bilo koji drugi način osim kao metaforu, možemo da tvrdimo da u Bibliji postoje metafore. A onda, za svaku stvar pona osob, kažeš, ček, 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 ček. Uho gospodnje je metafora, kaže, ma nemoj, Šta ti je to metafora? Kažem pjesma na pjesmama, to mi je metafora. Aha, ja je stvarno jest metafora. Jer sigurno nismo, ne mislimo da je pjevanje o nečijoj stražnici i nečijim dojkama, cvetnje na cvetnjama. E sad, Ribija Kiva je znači tvrdio da je, ovaj, da je e, pjesma na pjesmama, cvetnje na cvetnjama, zato što je to tekst koji nam omogućava razumijevanje. Bez tog teksta ne bismo shvatili, ne bismo shvatili sve ostale tekstove zajedno, a to je de facto svatovac. E sad, znači u tom tekstu nema ni jedno proročanstvo, jer to nije proročanski tekst. U tom tekstu nema ni jedna moralna poduka, jer to nije moralna. Ok, to je jedan svatovac. E sad, zašto bi neko baš u svatovcu, ali nema veze, svakako ne piše. Jer da se tu piše u, jed, u plemenu Kurejš, bit će rođen čovjek u klanu Hašim, izvaće se Muhamed i imaće biljeg iza lijevog uha, pa da kaže što je proročanstvo. A ova, e sad, ja svojim ovaj, ljudima koji mene zasretnu, na ulci, ovaj, ja im kažem, jeste i on je čovjek bio srbin. Muha i med. Od dva, od dvije imenice, srpsko-hrvatskom, srpsko-hrvatsko-bosanskom, nije bitno. Muha i med. I onda on kaže, ti normalan. Ja kažem, isto sam normalan koliko i ti. Jer to što, što u, u biblijskom tekstu piše, i on je sam lijep. Što se na hebrejskom kaže, maha kulo, maha madim, i ti kažeš, to je Muhamed. Ali ne, tekst ne govori o Muhamedu. Tekst govori o njenom dragom. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is also mentioned my name in the Old Testament. David, but David, David. There's no sense. There's no do sense you, here. Do you not understand that Muhammad was actually uh, prophesied in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew Bible? Uh, and I want to put it on screen. Specifically, uh -oh. here we go. specifically in the song of solomon it's mentioned in the song of solomon chapter number five verse number 16. in hebrew i will say it says he's more sweet he's altogether lovely he's my beloved he's my friend O daughters of jerusalem it says Muhammadim. Wow. <laughs> hey, let's let's start let's start start reading her a little earlier, right there. Hey, no, 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 no. Go, go down, go down, go down. Just just go down a little more. Okay, start right there. Okay, start. Daughters of Jerusalem. The, the daughters of Jerusalem. What is your beloved? Mm -hmm. more yeah, they're than... asking. They're asking this woman, "What is your beloved more yeah. than another beloved? Oh, fairest among women." She's talking about Solomon's wife here. They're talking yeah. to Solomon's wife. Oh, fairest yeah. among women. What is your beloved more than another beloved that you so charge us? 
And and she replies, my beloved is white. And I say Muhammad was white. We keep saying it, man. <laughs> Muhammad was a white dude, right? <laughs> Muhammad was a white. My be <laughs> He's a white man with black slaves. <laughs> my beloved is white and ruddy, chief among 10,000. His head is like the finest gold. His locks are wavy and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves by the rivers of waters, washed with milk and fitly set. His cheeks are like a bed of spices, banks of scented herbs. His lips are lilies, dripping liquid myrrh. His hands are <laughs> rods of gold set with barrel. His body is carved ivory, because he's so white, inlaid with sapphires. His legs are pillars of marble, white marble, set on bases of fine gold. His countenance is like Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet. Yes, he is altogether lovely. <laughs> this is my beloved. Oh, and by the way, I'm the bride of Solomon. Who am I talking about here? Ask any Muslim. Yeah, he's ta she's talking about Muhammad. So AP, keep in mind, this is Solomon's <laughs> wife, 900 plus BC. She's lusting. She's talking about how sexy Muhammad's body was, <laughs> even though Muhammad wasn't, wasn't born for more than 50, for 15 centuries, right? So keep in mind, this is, this is Solomon's bride having adulterous thoughts and some sort of vision seeing Muhammad, according to Muslims, according to Muslims. And, and the word, the word used here, altogether lovely, Mahmad, right? Uh, the word that they want to translate as Muhammad the same word is used of Ezekiel's wife because she's <laughs> she was altogether lovely to him. She was his she was his uh, she was his beloved. And so so uh, so Ezekiel's wife was also Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. And so she, that she means was, that, she was that very Muhammad. Yeah. That Muhammad that means that Muhammad was a tri time traveling either either transvestite or or he, or Muslims are saying that Ezekiel was in a in a homosexual relationship and Ezekiel was the woman in that relationship guys we're we're, we're not trying to be jerks here but when you say this this is talking about Muhammad <laughs>